So we're here on the stand at TAFAF 2020 and I wanted to give you just a quick overview of some of our most exciting pieces in our, uh, in our stand. So we have here St. Aldum of Malmesbury, the Laude Virginitatis from the year 800. Here we have a commentary on the Psalms um, that was made in Paris, 1200. Here we have a legal manuscript painted by the Maître d'Honoré Atelier, um, and it is all um, Gregory the Great, different um, church fathers, and their commentaries about it. Um, here we have uh, the Talbot Beecham Book of Hours, um, that's Rouen, 1430. Here we have the famous Légion Doré, the Golden Legend, Saints' Lives. This was painted um, in the It's circle. a royal manuscript? This one is indeed a royal manuscript. It was in the collection um, of René d'Anjou and Jean de Laval. Okay. Here we have the compendium of Juan II, King of Castile and Leon, made in Spain, 1425. Here we have the Cinco. Pletos or lawsuit made um, in Mexico in 1571. Here we have some of our fantastic miniatures made um, in various places and in different time zones. We have here the um, Latin Bible, one of our classic beautiful French Latin Bibles from the 13th century. Here the exciting Gutenberg Bible fragment printed by Johannes Gutenberg in 1452-54. to 54. This is the book of Joshua. Here we have um, some of our early books. We have um, a collection of early Psalters, um, books of Psalms. We have a book of hours called the Beecham Corbet Book of Hours. This is a early 14th century British Book of Hours. You can see here the Beecham Corbet family um, armorials that helped us identify the book. Here is really a gorgeous Latin Bible made by the Parisian Royal Psalter Group in the 13th century. And again, two more books of the Psalms, both out of the 13th century. One made in Paris and the other made in Bruges for the Franciscans. Here we have the letters of Ovid, Les Epices d'Ovid. This was um, painted by the master of the Chronique Scandaleuse, uh, made in Paris around 1493 for uh, the Queen and the Bretagne. Here we have Jean Dutremuse's um, text on uh, the powers of precious stones, as well as another text on how to read the future in your palms. And um, this was made for, the, uh, for Raphael de Mercatellis. Um, late 15th century. Here oh, we have one some... treasure after the other. Yeah, really gorgeous uh, French books of oh. hours. This is the Fouquier Hours, painted by two artists, one of which, which you see here, is believed to be um, a Lombard artist who came up north into France to work. Um, and this is a book of hours made by the famous Mazarin master, much sought after amongst collectors. That's from the early 15th century. And here oh, we have... Oh, it's a so huge book. Yes. What is it? It's a chronicle or... This is the Titus Livius. This is Livy's History of Rome. These are three of the decades, the ones that were known at the time um, in the Middle Ages. And you can see beautifully painted. We know who the painter was, um, Henri de Orquevaux. Um, we know that because the last leaf of this book tells us who the painter, the scribe, and the original patron was. So something very special and a hefty addition to your library. Here we have another beautiful book of hours. This is French and now getting much later into the 15th century. And this book, the Labard book of hours, is in a very special, long and thin format, very different. 
here we have some lovely French literature. This is Martin Lefranc's Les Tarifs de la Fortune et de, de Vertu. That's a debate between fortune and virtue. Um, and this was um, written out in 1482, but not painted until 1519. This was owned by the famous de la Lange family. Here's one of my very, very favorite books of ours in our collection. This is a book painted by the master of Petrarch's Triumphs. And as you see, it's very different. It's in this beautiful demi grisaille painting style where you have these elegant um, gray white figures with touches of blue, gold, red throughout. It's gorgeous. And this Renaissance? Yes, here we really are in the Renaissance. We have um, a book of ours which was made in Tours in around 1500 and we think it's a collaboration between a French and an Italian painter. You can see the style is very different. Here um, we have another royal book. This is a book of ours made for the King of France, Louis XII. Um, and this is made in Paris around 1500. And here we have, last but not least, the life of Christ, the Vita Christi. Um, this is painted by the master of the Chronique Scandaleuse and was made in Paris around 1506-1508 for Philippa of Gelders and René, the Duke de la Reine. So, thank you, Mrs. Donovan. Thank you. Please join us at the fair or write to us at info at gunter-rarebooks.com. We're happy to answer any of your questions and we hope to see you soon.